Hey YouTube, what's going on? Lionheart here, and on today's video, I'd like to talk about my first impressions of Xiao. Uh, generally speaking, Xiao is pretty fun to play and appears to be strong at all constellations. Uh, for this video, the footage that you're going to be watching will have Xiao at constellation zero. And I actually think that's all you need for Xiao. Um, he's quite strong without constellations, and I feel like you can get the full value of the character, and I'll talk a little bit more about why that is as the video goes on uh, without having to go deeper into uh, the duplicates. So look, Xiao's damage output is impressive for an animal character. Uh, I think he's a good addition to your team at low constellation, and uh, the general playstyle for him is... Uh, what I've decided to call jackhammer playstyle, right? What I mean by that is Xiao jumps into the air and then plunges and then jumps into the air and then plunges and then jumps into the air and then plunges and that's that's it. That's really the main way to play this character. And um, it's, it's very effective. It deals a lot of area animo damage, but... Um, it's also very repetitive so look like i had a ton of fun doing it like it sounds silly right it's like really you're just gonna jump and drop and that's it like i actually really enjoyed doing it today on stream uh and killing like all these weekly bosses around the world and i'll show you some of that footage at the end of the video but like i don't know it, i could see it being like what people call peanut butter and jelly the peanut butter and jelly problem what that is is like so if you don't like peanut butter and jelly by the way this won't work for you at all as an analogy but just try to follow along anyways like if you eat peanut butter and jelly it's delicious right it tastes really really good it's like sweet and like salty and just so nice right uh, but then you eat it again for your next meal and then for your next meal and then you eat it you know every meal for a week and then a month and then two months and all of a sudden it tastes horrible <laughs> right like you no longer like it you actually if you've ever worked at a restaurant like you can totally relate right where you get there and like there's some items on the menu that are just unbelievably good and like a month into the job you hate them <laughs> and you get, you're eating like niche items and people are asking you what you recommend and you're like recommending this dish that you know is good but you no longer like right and I worry that like the way you play Xiao is going to feel like that like it's so great now and we're in this honeymooner phase now but like the more you play him i wonder if that wears off and it starts to become just like really annoying that that's the min max way to play is just to jump and plunge while his uh, elemental burst is active you know and you're not getting to take advantage of like this beautiful uh, attack animation combo that they've done for his normal attack because it's just not the most efficient way to play um and so yeah I, I guess that's my concern a little bit with him and one of the reasons why uh, and, and there's a few others that i'll talk about but i recommend keeping him probably at low constellation right you just pull for one copy if you really can't help yourself and you you, you feel like you need that extra charge of uh, his elemental skill maybe you you get one copy but but i, I actually don't think you need that I, i'm okay with you doing it but i but i actually don't think you need it and i, I think he's fine constellation zero and you can save those resources for future characters or if you want to pull on the weapon banner um and you're okay with either outcome you never pull on the weapon banner unless you're okay with either outcome all right otherwise you're baiting yourself but um but if you're okay with either outcome uh with either one of the jade weapons you know that could be a better use for those for those primo gems so look that, that, that's my general feeling um the, the play style for xiao is is pretty simple right you you activate the elemental burst you jump you plunge you repeat that when the elemental burst is off cooldown you have two options you can keep xiao in and start doing auto attacks with your with your normal combo and using your elemental skill um or you could use your elemental skill by the way when your ultimate is active um or, or you just rotate him out I, I found it was more effective to just rotate him out actually and try to generate more energy uh, by playing, you know, another animal character or the other characters that are in your party uh, to try and kind of boost them up. So, so, so that's probably how I would do it. But I mean, his normal attack animation actually feels really smooth. And so, if you just want to like play it, it hits respectable damage, and it's a very fast attack combo. So, uh, I think it's actually okay to just keep him in and, and use normal attacks as well. The challenge you're going to have with that is unless you're defeating enemies, you're not going to be generating energy, which is going to increase the downtime on 
his elemental uh, burst, which is where most of your damage is. So yeah, so I, I don't know that you necessarily want to do that. And I think you have to maybe think of Xiao more as like a like a melee caster who really just comes in, uses uh, his elemental burst and his elemental skills, and then comes out. E even though I know you you feel how good the normal attack combo is, you want to use it, you want to beat people up with it. I actually think the most effective uh damage output method of playing him is to use him as a melee caster not to use that beautiful normal attack combo though i'm going to tell you right now i will be using that beautiful normal attack combo to hell with efficiency it feels good and i'm gonna do it but but if you're just trying to like really get the most out of him i think it, it actually might be a bait for you to do that um look he's got good weapon options too by the way um you can run the uh, jade spear on him right which is featured in the banner but but actually skyward spine is pretty good and um and also the favonius the favonius lance which has really high base attack it's something like i think 565 base attack at level 90 it's crazy it's actually crazy none of the other favonius weapons have this level of high base attack as the uh as the polearm does so yeah you can use that and uh that extra energy recharge could actually help you make up or uh not rotating out right so like let's say you're playing xiao and and you you know you want to keep him in and do a lot of auto attacking well if favonius is proccing on crits right and then giving you energy that's giving you fi uh, higher old uptime that's making it so that you don't have to rotate him out as much so then you can have more of that satisfaction that you want and it's actually quite good the energy recharge from favonius weapons is phenomenal and helps everybody right it's got a, a, a neutral orb that, that boosts that boosts all your energy so, so yeah really good so anyway, um, you know, uh, I think, I think, you know, you can run him that way. All of that stuff can be done at Constellation Zero. And um, if you're interested in higher constellations, right, I always test higher constellation characters on Twitch and then show them off in guides later on. Um, and I will be doing that also for Xiao. So if, so if you're uh, toying with the idea of, of getting duplicates, you, of course, uh, can come by and uh, stream anytime and see that content. But let's talk about the constellations real quick, because I feel like it's important to just kind of highlight logically why you maybe don't need them, um, even though it's, it sounds hypocritical because I'll have them. But like, like, here's the thing. Let's talk about each one. So, so I'm going to skip C3 and C5 because those are just talent boosters, right? And like, they're always good. They're always the same amount of good, right? So three talent levels. Nobody's going to not want three talent levels, right? Especially with the resource cost of weekly bosses and other things. So uh, that, that's what that is. But, um, but let's talk about the other ones, right? So C1 gives you an extra charge on Xiao's elemental skill. It's nice. I don't think it's required. Um, I played with him all day today, didn't have that, and felt it was fine. Um, C2 increases his energy recharge off the field, which is actually like... It, it's, it sounds good, but it's actually really bad. Um, one it's useless in four player co-op because he's always on the field so now you have a constellation that you can't even use in in four player co-op that's trash um and and then two um you can actually make up for that by just by just adjusting your gear right running a energy recharge substat on your weapon or energy recharge sands or, or getting some extra energy recharge substats or even just optimizing your team around having somebody else that's an animal character that can serve as an energy battery for him like like there's so many other ways to get good energy recharge i feel like you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars to get that um uh, via constellation so it's actually i think the c2 is a really strange design uh from mihoyo and then c4 is um, a conditional defensive buff i i don't think you need it um he's got this huge jump you could just avoid all the attacks if you just don't spam your jump but you actually think about when to time your jump so you're avoiding enemy attacks before plunging back down like like i actually don't think you'll need the defense and um if you have a healer on the team right um it should be really easy for you to stay healthy and so yeah conditional defense buff just doesn't seem very good to me and that's c4 the one that is good is c6 right c6 is good but c6 is a huge investment right you just spend all this money to get to c6 and then when you get there it's like okay now what you have is it, it, it's good but it's actually it's awkward good so so what c6 does is it lets you uh uh after you hit multiple targets with a plunge down uh at, get a charge of your elemental skill and for one second cast it without cooldown right so it's like you can plunge down spam 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 plunge down spam 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 plunge down spam 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 right but but the but the idea is that like when you're spamming 
even though you're dealing good damage during that time you're not setting up your next plunge so you're actually losing some damage to deal this extra damage it's not like actually just like free gimme give gimme give here's something nice that you got that you wouldn't have gotten before you actually pay a price for that additional damage so i don't know i mean it's it's cool it's good um i've seen other players use it i haven't used it myself yet though i will in the coming weeks but um but i don't know dude c6 is a lot of money so uh i don't know that i would push that way and actually the thing that gives me the most pause probably about xiao um is so we talked about like the peanut butter jelly problem right which i which i think matters there there's another there's kind of another elephant in the room which is that um yeah, I, I actually think that she yeah well well, well she has uh, damage is quite good it's actually the weaker of the uh current five star animo characters excluding uh of course the traveler right so like 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 let's just do like a quick comparison right think about venti venti brings a ton of utility and damage to the table right venti's elemental skill can hit very very hard um just like just like xiao's yeah uh, xiao's excuse me and um you know venti also has an ulti that draws everybody in and it has tons of shred and it has shred not that's not only useful for animo damage dealers um if you have the constellations right but you can also get shred uh from from uh uh from, from swirling in elements right at maximum constellation so you just like compare like venti's constellations to um to xiao's constellations I just feel like venti is superior in every way right and then and it's not selfish either right it's very like helpful to the team where where xiao's kit is super selfish right it's all about him that's not actually very helpful for the team and then and then you look at gina it's actually kind of the same thing gina has some crazy scaling on her elemental skill and elemental burst and then she brings a ton of utility to the team right this big heal um and then the constellations they bring shred they bring damage resistance and then move speed attack speed you're getting all these things that are very beneficial to the team and then you go back and you look at xiao and it's like okay you don't have any of those there right so uh, yeah i don't know like 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 he, he just be careful about this honeymooner phase like he is a ton of fun to play i really like him but but i worry that he's not future proofed you see what i'm saying like like i feel like venti is going to be hard to power creep gene um she may not be there in the future she may but she offers really quite a lot she's just a bit harder to build and and a lot more i would say constellation dependent for her value than like venti venti you still get the utility right no matter what you just don't really get the damage and shred without the constellations but the utility is always there and i i feel like you just have to be a little bit careful with xiao where i just don't feel like xiao's as um as future proofed as uh, maybe those other characters and so, so that's a risk right if you take a character like this all the way to c6 and then you know the next animal character comes out and and there's no room for xiao because you want to pair them with venti who's heavily future proofed or you want to um pair it with with gene because you need somebody who can heal right now now you've got a character it's a, you know c6 character and you can't really you're having trouble working him into a team so you know i mean obviously if you love him and this is like your husbando you've been waiting for i don't want you to not pull him for these reasons but i just want you to also have like clear expectations around like your money is valuable your time is valuable if you're going to invest in this character i really want you to have a full picture around what that means right and i personally have concerns around future proofing i also have the peanut butter jelly problem concerns around like is this play style actually going to be fun in a couple of weeks like it is right now um and it is fun right now don't get me wrong but like that's the peanut butter and jelly problem so like i yeah i i think that with all those things in the back of my mind i feel like my recommendation is for you to just pull one copy um so that you have him you can enjoy him but then i would not necessarily go any deeper than that um and that's just my again this is a first impression thing maybe my feelings change after i spend more time with him uh maybe not and they just become stronger on this position but but that's where i'm at right now for uh xiao okay and um uh, i also think it's important to point out especially as you watch people deal damage with him um, he, he actually benefits a lot there's a lot of ways to buff up his damage output right so you might see like there's a video of me um i don't know if i'm gonna include it in this video or not as background footage but i dealt like like 63,000 damage with a plunge attack with him right one plunge attack with his um elemental burst activated at constellation zero dealt 63,000 damage right but 
but that was hard to do and it required a lot of characters that weren't constellation zero right it required albedo with a bunch of constellations it required bennett uh with his ultimate right and some constellations it also required gene uh with with constellations to shred resistance right uh, c4 so like like there's a lot happening there to reach that damage i don't want you to like see that and be like oh shit dude this guy's gonna hit for uh oh i swore on a youtube video sorry i don't usually swear on these unless they're free form whoops and i'm not gonna edit it out i'm gonna leave it in but sorry about that so like <laughs> the uh the general idea is like 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 you know there's a lot that went into that and i don't want you to think that you're gonna get you know chow and you're gonna hit for you know 63,000 plunge damage on an ultimate attack like like maybe you will especially if you're a spending player or a whale but like like i don't think that's what you should expect right uh, is it still gonna be a lot of damage yes yes absolutely the aoe ult is, is, is a lot of damage is actually really fun but 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 uh you know pushing the limits like that and counting on like some crazy stuff like that is, is is really you just have to be really careful about who's in the party and who's buffing him up because uh, i feel like there's some buffs out there that could be could be a little bit deceptive anyway um he's awesome he feels good to play uh on the first day he has the most smooth normal attack pattern i have seen in the game yet which is awesome gives me hope for the future uh, of other characters and their attack patterns um and yeah he's um he feels really good at zero constellation my big concerns with him are the peanut butter jelly problem which is his play style uh the jackhammer play style of just jump up plunge jump up plunge jump up plunge um is, is really fun on day one i'm worried uh in a, a few days or a few weeks it won't be fun anymore it'll be actually very annoying um and uh i also worry about future proofing uh, in terms of the quality of his constellations and his role on the team compared to other animo characters um who feel more future proofed which means that if there's another strong animo damage dealer that releases i think he's the first to get replaced so um yeah just a couple things to consider uh in your decision again my general feeling is go ahead and uh if you like him and you feel like the play style looks fun safe to pull for constellation zero um but i wouldn't recommend going beyond that and i wouldn't recommend going beyond that for all player types doesn't matter if you're free to play and you've been saving your primos or if you're a whale and you're like got money to burn or whatever it is right like like i still my recommendation for all player types is the same constellation zero is good i don't think you necessarily need to go beyond that right now and look you can wait right there's not a rush i know it's a shorter banner but take a week see how people's feelings on the character evolve and then at the end of the week decide at that halfway point you can decide whether or not you want to pull for this character i don't think it will interfere with your enjoyment of the character uh in the meantime it's very fun he's very fun at c0 so so i think you can enjoy him at c0 and wait and see what other people are saying in a week and then make an informed decision for yourself the other thing to keep in mind is that hu tao is uh right around the corner right her name card is in game um there's been no confirmation from mihoyo around when is she going to come out what's the schedule around that but the name card is in game right the name card is in game so yeah that character uh might be really really good so you know if it's the difference between pulling for constellations on xiao or getting hu tao you probably should hold for hu tao that's just going to be my general guidance to you all right so look, that's all I've got for right now. Um, if you're interested in watching more Xiao gameplay, um, why don't you consider dropping by my stream sometime? I'm live on Twitch Sunday through Friday, starting at 9 p.m. New York time. And if you're interested in, you know, a bunch of Xiao spam jump, world boss death stuff, um, stay on this video because as soon as I'm done talking, I'm just going to cue that in with some music and you can just see <laughs> me and, uh, we basically squatted up me and some, uh, uh other players, uh, and we just went around and did, uh, elemental burst spam to kill a bunch of the bosses, including the, uh, new, the new world boss that's, uh, in there. So yeah, if you want to see that, I actually thought it was super fun and, and really kind of cool looking, um, just stay on the video and that'll play as soon as I'm done talking. Um, also, uh, if you like this video and it helped you, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel and enabling alerts. Um, you know, it helps me out a lot. Um, I'm trying to build the channel up and, uh, 
you know, build guides and help you guys make informed decisions on how to spend your money on how to invest in characters, right? And to show you uh, as far as I can get it, top level gameplay in terms of like, this is the most that this character can do, right? It's very powerful. It's been uh, invested in heavily, right? Uh, and to give you that opportunity to see like, what is the character's maximum potential is, is something I'm trying to do here. So yeah, uh, if you like it, I hope you, again, you'll subscribe and enable alerts and uh, yeah. That's all I have for this video. So uh, thanks again, and uh, I'll see you next time.